Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial series on how to create Minecraft animations. In this episode, we're going to be showing how to use our Zamination Rig, and just the basic features it has. So the first thing I'm going to show is all the controls on the body and what they do. First, we have the head rotation, which you can manipulate by clicking R for rotate, or G for grabbing. For this thing up here, this is the squash and stretch control which does exactly what it says, squash and stretch. And this is the torso control, which you can also grab by clicking G to make it stretch or squish. And the same thing goes for the waist bone. You can rotate it, or you can grab it. These are the shoulder controls, which you can move up and down, or wherever you want. And these control the top of the legs, in case you have to stretch it very far, you need to move the leg location a little bit. Then of course you have your main leg controls. You can rotate these by using R. And there's also a foot roll control, which may not be used very often, but it's there in case you need it. Then here's the main rig controller, which moves everything on this rig. And this is the body control, which moves just the body. And now if you want to go into more depth, this thing over here has a few features on it. Moving this yellow thing down will make the arms 3 pixel if you want an Alex type skin. Moving this outer box down will change the arm into forward kinematics or FK, which basically the difference is with IK, holding this main bone down and moving it around controls the entire arm just based on this one bone. With forward kinematics, moving the top half only controls the top half, moving the bottom only controls this half. And then of course you have your wrist, which you can move up and down using the rotation. This control in the center of the box makes it so that the arm stays locked in this position no matter where you rotate or move your body. This control on the center of his eyes moves the location of the eyes up and down on the head. This control next to his head opens up a bunch of different features that control the face. This circle right over here controls the eyes which by clicking S, you can scale down or up. And using G, you can move it around the face. And these controls up here control the eyebrows. You can click G to move them around and R to control the rotation of the eyebrow. This yellow control next to the eyebrows controls how big the eyebrows are. This control right here controls the blinking or if you want to have the eyes two pixels high, you can just move them up like this. And if you want to make two pixel high eyes, you can grab the eye control, click S, Z, and then scale it on the Z axis to make them two pixels tall. These controls down here cause the eyelids to go in an either angry or to a scared or sad expression. This green control in the center controls the mouth this yellow control controls the position of the mouth. And these controls on the side control the happy, sad, or many different expressions you can create. This yellow control over here controls if you either want to have a smooth mouth or a square mouth. This red control opens up some extra features that gives you even more advanced options. Those options include more mouth controls, more eye controls, such as the top of the eyelids and the bottom of the eyelids. And you even get some more eyebrow controls up here for really advanced expressions. And these two circles next to the eye control control each eye individually, in case you want to make a kooky expression or something along those lines. If you would like to change the skin on this rig, it is fairly simple. You select the arm mesh, it doesn't have to be the arm, but I usually select the arm mesh. Go over to the texture tab, close out the texture that's already on here, then go to open to select which file you want for the skin. I'm gonna search through and select a random skin here. And there you go. You've got a skin right there. In case you want to edit the skin more, such as the fact that these eyebrows aren't the right color, you can always select the eyebrows and click tab to go into edit mode. And then over here, switch to the UV editor and selecting these by either clicking B to box select or A to select all, 
you can move these by clicking G and move them around. And if you open up your skin that you want down here, by clicking G, you can move this over the spot you want. And by clicking Shift S and select to pixels, it'll snap into place. If you want to do some cool extrusions on this rig, that's also pretty easy. You right click the body if you want to extrude on the body, let's say. Click Tab to go into edit mode. Right click and Shift Select to select which pixels you would like extruded. Extrude them to whatever length you want by clicking E and dragging. And then what you're supposed to do is select the outer edges so it doesn't look all bumpy. To select the outer edges, put your cursor right on the outer edge and hit Control right click. And then Shift, Control right click again. Control right click, Control right click, and etc. Until you have everything selected. Then you want to click N to open up this toolbar on the side and scroll up to the top and change mean crease all the way to 1. And there you go, you have your extrusion. It's fairly simple to create stuff such as walk cycles with this rig, given all the controls and advanced options it has. In a future tutorial, I will be showing how to make walk cycles like this one. To change the eye color on this rig, you simply right click the eyes, click tab to go into edit mode, select the face on the eye, go over here to the material tab, and here where it says eye color, select this little color bar and adjust it to whatever color you would like. Another extra option that I find useful is if you click on the head control, go to the bone tab over here, and click inherit rotation off. That makes it so the body does not follow the head as it rotates. I find this easier to animate this way. The alternative is you can keep it on and have it follow the body, which works too. It's mainly based on preference, however. That's about it for the tutorial on the examination rig. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments, and I may go over them in a future video. In future tutorials, I will be teaching stuff such as lighting, animation tips, setting up a scene, importing a world, creating walk cycles, lip syncing, and extra tips on how to bring your animation to life. That's it for this tutorial. If you would like to see more tutorials like this in the future, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. And if you found it helpful, why not drop a like? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, and until then, I'll see you in the next one.